Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld, and this program is about the evolution of our consciousness and how we are evolving as a collective civilization. That's why I'm so happy to have with me here Mas Sajadi, who is a master healer, but you, you also call yourself an oracle. An oracle, yes. An oracle. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, it came about because I want to move away from healing, because I do more than just healing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, back in the olden days, oracles were used by dynasties, wealthy individuals, just to foretell what happened in the past and what will happen in the future. So I do have those abilities, but then I call myself Oracle Plus because on top of that, I can actually, like, redefine or edit or delete realities, whether it's future or past. And whether it's in someone's body or in outside. the in outside. Yes. You can delete people's Yes, I can delete or edit or bring in new realities for you? That's new realities the name of the show. So there, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but you, this came about, and we'll get into that, because you had two near-death experiences. Yes. And um, what in the second one, you were directed to come back and do this work. Yes, I was actually trained. Uh, I was brought into uh, some deep meditations. These meditations would last maybe three, four, five hours long. Mm -hmm. Thinking, you know, to me, they felt like they were just like a couple minutes long, mm -hmm. but they were actually like three, four hours long. And in one of the meditations, I go, I was going through a thousand ways to die. Mm -hmm. And I go, what was that for? And they said, so you can heal, so you can learn how to heal individuals and that's the first time I actually understood what I was meant to do. Wait, so you drowned, you had this near-death mm -hmm. experience, you drowned and yes. in that drowning did you have a vision of... Uh, no, in that drowning I just I just saw a pure blue light uh, and there's no time or distance mm -hmm. at that level. But I knew there was other realities that you could enter into just mm -hmm. by thinking of it and creating it. And then you came back, you came back to consciousness and how were you different? Uh, I could start, I saw spirits around individuals and, you know, at first, you know, very naive. I had no, I'm a computer programmer. Oh. Alan, you didn't know anything about this whole world. Anything about. All okay. I knew was there people saw auras and okay. I was interested. Okay. So I thought, wow, you know, I'm, I'm seeing people's auras, but in reality, I was seeing much higher. And most people don't see that, but I do see the spirit space around individuals that actually create our bodies. And you still see it now? Oh, yes. And that's you how I tap into individuals and read their files. So are you, are you reading some files on I me? could, yes. Well, I turn it off and on. But yeah, okay, I can read some files. Okay, you could. Maybe. What would you read? <coughs> what would you want to see? Hmm. Um, <laughs> me in the audience. I mean, you don't have to get... I could work on you if you want. Yeah, I'd love you to work. I mean, that's why I do the I show. Have you, I have you stand <laughs> up, actually. Okay, I don't want to lose okay? the camera. Um, I think we'd be okay if we s All right, sit maybe. back a little. Sit back, okay. Stand maybe back. Okay, and stand up. Like, see, they're losing our head. Okay. So just work on me. I can work on you. Yeah, okay. Tell me you. as you work, if you don't mind describing what you're okay. doing. Yes, it's very different and, um, than what, say, most people visualize or uh. see. It's more of a knowledge or knowing. And, <clears throat> you know, the way you experience life. Right. Uh, I actually tap into that same process that you do. So I see your world through your vision. Are you like and in through my your mind and body now? Pretty much, yeah. Right. That, that essence, that frequency <laughs> that creates your body. Right. Uh, that's what I tap into. So. And are you deleting some programs? Uh, I'm just kind of tapping into you now. You've got okay. a lot of issues. I don't know if you have physical issues on this side or. No, I did sprain my back. Yeah, oh, I did, did have yeah. some. Yeah. Okay. And I do did. you see how you're moving? I'm not moving. Yeah. Here. That's it's actually The body's you. actually moving. Yeah. But I'm so not <coughs> feeling like intense energy. I'm just no. feeling like emotion or yeah. something. Yeah. And people are different. Some people feel if they need to release mm -hmm. like emotions, no. they'll start to release it. Uh, you'll start to feel, because you're pretty clear. You know, I'm sure More you've done a lot of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've done a lot of shows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> With so. healers. But I feel my body, my spine getting straight now. Yeah. And that'll so. align, and I can adjust your back, yeah, yeah. like over the phone or so you you know, in person, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, actually, Moss does this on the phone for people. He doesn't have to be sitting next to you. He does this long distance, yeah. It's not like I, I mean, I could resist moving, but it feels better to move. Yeah, actually, oh. you can resist moving, but then 
it no, then, starts taking over. Yeah, you. yeah. No, so I'd rather would, go yeah, with the energy. Exactly. So, but talk a little bit more about how what you're doing in this work now, so people can understand okay. it. Right now, I can scan you like an MRI, and I see mm -hmm. a little distortion. It's like your back is pushed over this way. Uh -huh. So, for you, frequency-wise, again, it's all a frequency mm -hmm. that generates our physical right, body. Right, right. So, I'm editing your frequency to bring you back into, say, uh, normal or oh, that balance. That feels better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so good. you'll see. It, you'll feel it like uh -huh. right away. And I feel it. I, yeah. I feel more <coughs> clear. I was going to ask for clarity, <laughs> but it's actually clearing. It's coming into you, yeah. It's clearing my um, mind. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then yeah. I think you'll s be more, well, in time, actually. Um, yeah. Because you have a tendency yeah. uh, to be in different realities at one time. It's true. How do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> you actually true. tap in. I mean, people might call you like forgetful spaced or out. spaced out, but it's yeah, really I not. That. You are in multiple dimensions Thank you. at one Can time. Can you explain that to my family? <laughs> 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 no, it's so, true. <laughs> so there's no time constant for you. Yeah, exactly. There are many sense? timelines at once. So. Exactly. So other people, when they see that, because communication right. is at at I spirit know, level, like yeah. ninety percent of what yeah. we see or what we uh -huh. take in in individuals yeah. is at spirit level, and that's what they're reading. Well, so I'm going to <coughs> wish, uh, like something released from this part of my yeah, that whole that whole side, that right side, yeah. yeah, and it start it's like hinged here on the left hip, yeah, but through the right side, yeah, out. right hip, yeah. But well, you can see. do this over the phone, I heard. Yes, and people, people. <laughs> <laughs> People actually feel it just the way you are. Really? Over the phone? Over the phone. Yeah, they'll see, oh my God. Next time we'll do a radio her. show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, so. I, yeah, I feel... I mean, if you were standing up, you'd be like wobbling all over. That's okay. I feel... But yeah. are you? Do, what are you actually doing? Are you sending energy into the body? No. No, no I'm editing frequencies. So, <coughs> you know how we program yeah, computer okay. and yeah, mouse? Yeah, yeah. You know, you use a computer, yeah. uh, like a keyboard and a mouse? Yeah. So I see, and some people think they call it like sacred geometry. I mean, yeah. that's just a nip. You see these the forms. Yeah. But these are actually free-flowing forms that are around you. Mm. And I can reprogram you. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, from those free sure. forms. And Go that's what I'm doing oh, now. Do. So. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, and there's multiple layers or different layers that uh, I can tap into. Like, so <coughs> I see on the backdrop this, you go from the spirit to the um, collective unconscious, the conscious conscious, and then into the manifested right. world. Right. Mm, yeah, let me explain that, uh, yeah. that backdrop. The manifestation is your physical body. That's where we you are know, now. That's where we are now. So and that's where like mm -hmm. Western medicine, surgeries, drugs, right. foods that we take is at that level. Yeah. And then you have like energy type frequencies is the next layer up. Mm -hmm. And that's like psychics, mm -hmm. Reiki, your body systems, right. frequencies, chakras. Um, say, and that's where most healers actually work. Mm, that's good. Uh, and then you go up a couple levels mm -hmm. and you go to the spirit level, which your spirit actually created, say, the blueprint of your body. Right. And that's, and that's where I work at. And very few people work at that level, if hardly any. I but I that's like where, that. like, levels <coughs> of, let's say, distortion happen. It has on the spirit and then it goes right. into the manifested world. Exactly. And people think that, uh, you know, their spirits are totally pure when they mm -hmm. create this reality. But what I'm finding out, their spirits aren't that pure, and that's why they've created ah. the realities that they have, you so know, that distorted. So when you start clearing from that dis the spirit yeah. level, you know, your physical body, mm -hmm. like, changes, like, immediately, it's just like you're feeling it's it. It's clearing yeah. up my an intestinal thing as yeah, well. Exactly. Are, are you working? Yes. Or just yes. Y are you actually working on the yeah, intestinal? Yeah, like a lot of, well, this whole area is just yeah. blocked. Okay, so I'm so. clearing that. <coughs> yeah. Plus, I'm bringing you <coughs> into a one dimension time yeah. frame. So Instead you're of here. All those other dimensions? Yeah, but you can access those points. Mm -hmm. And maybe people in the audience might not get it, but I mm -hmm. think you do. You can still access those oh, information. But I don't have to be there. But you don't have to be there. Ah. You can that still tap into good, the news. Because I've been knowledge. spending too much time in those exactly. other realities. Yeah. <laughs> But if you were to work with the <coughs> audience that's watching, what would mm -hmm. you, um, how do you work with a collective? I mean, uh, I'm feeling this because you're yes. right here. You know, and as, actually as I've been speaking 
whether I'm whether mm. I'm on the radio or or, yeah. or here, I'm actually working on on the audience as well. You can so can you want to work on them a little bit? Sure. I mean that was great. Yeah, and if I you guys it. we can meditate for. Well, is that how you work on audience? Yeah. Let's, let's no, and do you can ask me questions, Alan, while I work on them. Okay. Yeah, but okay, I want the people watching to really oh, tune yeah, into this work uh, because I think it's valuable. Uh, yes, and it doesn't matter because it's not me that obviously heals you it's just bringing in that pure source connection basically the same pure source connection that came into me when i had the near-death experience uh -huh. uh, i bring that connection into you between you and pure source without the near-death experience well that's so that's, that's what that's cures nice you that's yeah that's <laughs> you <don't have> <laughs> a lot easier that, that way <laughs> um, so okay so something we should do together to tune into that collectively it doesn't matter okay if they want to you can get into your nice meditative position mm -hmm. whatever position that you want and I'll I'll work on you I don't need to know your symptoms or issues really uh, and I do a lot of the meditations I call them meta healings really mm -hmm. because while I get you into a nice deep state uh, where I get you into your physical body um, at a spirit level I'm working on you so together combined mm -hmm. that's where the people get fantastic quick results I actually feel really good like something's opened up on this whole side here like yeah, that that's I mean, fantastic I mean, yeah and that'll keep expanding for you it's not it will. like yeah, yeah it's not like it'll go back because I actually changed you at your root or your core can't we all do I mean do you teach people how to do this I, I mean, sh be I nice don't have a did. one, two, three step, but I teach a lot of uh, individuals no matter what modality that you have or you mm -hmm. use uh, mm -hmm. I teach them to work at a higher level. So mm -hmm. yes, in a, in a sense I do. Okay, we'll go into a minute. We'll go into you okay. doing, working on the, and the audience. And just know, audience, I'm working on you. Okay. Uh, while we're talking. Okay, so, so we'll go into a little state. Yeah. Should I say before we do that, that <coughs> you actually are going to be in New York? Sure, why not? Uh, Tuesday, tomorrow, 24th at the Meta Center. Mm -hmm. Thursday at the Subud Center. The Friday at the Oracle Link. What's that? Oracle Oracle Circle? Or we're, yeah, we're going to do an Oracle Circle on Friday, which is really going to be oh, at fantastic. Oh, 48 Inc. 48 Inc. Uh, and uh, all the, but so where can people find out where you're going to be this week exactly? On which website? If you can go to Mas Sajadi, that's M-A-S. Okay. S-A-J-A-D-Y dot com. Mas Sajadi dot com. Mm -hmm. And all the information is there for you. Okay, so this is just a sample of yes. what you're going to be doing this week. Yes, um, okay. on the weekend I'll be working on like group healings and doing individual sessions as I talk as well. All right, let's go yeah, into this so because y y when you access this field, we can all access the same field and do our own inner healings, right? Uh, you don't even have to access it. Really. Okay. okay. It'll just come into you. All right. And that's the beauty of my work, really. Uh, you know, you don't have to do any steps after that. You'll just see a shift. Really? So it works from the inside out. Everybody makes it so hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is so simple. <laughs> the just people I work on. <laughs> yeah, just sit back, kick back, and All it's right. it's like creating another program or running another program for you. It it changes the way you look at things. All right, let's from the inside out. I'm ex that's, but you're doing something. You're working oh, yeah, in your I'm mind. You are like in yes. there. And exactly. you're going in. But when you work with an audience, where do you focus? It, the same thing. I can tap into the audience, whatever they need. Again, it's that pure source connection that comes in, and okay. whatever you might need, it'll come in. Uh, you know, when I do radio shows, mm -hmm. uh, people call in and they go, wow, my headache's gone, or my back's adjusted, or whatever mm -hmm. they released. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't specifically, say, working on them per se. All right, we got the camera. Let's fo go ahead and go ahead. You can just tune into that okay. and just go All for right. it. Uh, yeah, we'll just take a minute or two. And if you guys just want to take a nice deep breath in just to initiate the process. And if you don't, that's fine too. It doesn't matter. And exhale whenever you're ready. Um, and just note your breath. You know, there's a lot of meditations, a lot of uh, processes or methods that we do that always like keep us outside of our body. But this process is really about bringing your spirit inside your body uh, together, right? Spirit, body, combined, integrated. That's where really the magical or serendipitous things start to happen. The, the I call the 360 degrees of abundance 
that we all search for, whether it's in relationships, spirituality, you know, finances, right, physical health, starts coming into you just naturally. Uh, once that connection is made for you. And that connection might only take, say, a few minutes of me working on you. We always have the ability to do it on your own. I just do it faster for you, really. So even now, you might feel something is, um, well, let's take another nice deep breath in. And just hold it for a second or two. And exhale. I know you guys have a ton of mantras that you choose, your intentions, but uh, the only intention you should really start out with is that idea of how to connect to pure source even stronger. Whether you know what that means, just, just say it over and over again. It's actually for your spirit level. Your spirit actually knows what that means. So kind of leave it open, let it integrate in you. And as you're watching me, uh, again, you're probably seeing my hands. I do a lot of work with my hands. It's not that I'm moving energy. Mm. It's just I'm shifting or opening up those layers for you. Because we are all perfect in one sense or another. Uh, we've just brought in a lot of baggage, let's say. It's kind of tarnished our real self. So just moving that baggage out, letting your own light shine, your own trueness shine for you. That's what it's really about, not adding any more on to you. Because you are complete as you are yourself. There we go. And what you happened there, you just shifted something, right? Yes. Um, that snap is, is um, in computer terms, again, I'm a computer mm -hmm. programmer, yeah. is uh, like hitting the enter key to run the program. <laughs> so you just shifted the reality enough to... Yes, for a lot of people, for actually. <laughs> yes, whether it's a recording or not, if you listen to this or you mm -hmm. view this over and over again, you'll still get the same benefit or effect. But something in that moment, you hit a point where we went to another frequency. Yes, or opened up, actually opened up a actually a, a different reality for what I was seeing. Because um, in this New York area, and just mm -hmm. to, for the New York yeah. um, individuals, um, you know, there's a certain reality, no matter how spiritual you are, um, there's another level that we need to be at. And maybe that's why I'm here to open that up. I think so. Gate, but know? collectively on the planet, <coughs> we are moving to a new level. Collectively, yes, we are moving to a new level. And there's people like me that mm -hmm. are coming out Mm -hmm. to help shift or open those gates. Mm -hmm. Do you so feel that uh, directive that you've been given yes. that assignment? Yes. By, by, by who or what? Um, uh, I normally, my pure, s it's, I call it pure source, or you mm -hmm. know, people might call it God. I just don't use God mm -hmm. because it's been tainted or misguided or misdirected, but I pure source. But it's amazing that you're making it so simple now. Yes. I mean, all before is. this, like you had to, you know, stand on your head or you oh, know, turn yeah, around or, do. you know, <laughs> kill a chicken or kill whatever <laughs> it was, you know. There uh, was. In fact, uh, um, you know, there was this healer, this wo woman came uh, to me and she was, um, she had like, say, entities around her. She right. believed in entities right. um, or aliens or whatever they were. And, you know, this other individual was, well, you had to do this for a month and then you had to do something else for a month. Right. And as I was talking to her, I just like removed whatever was around her. It only took a couple minutes. Uh -huh. The next day she called me. It's like, wow. You know, my life totally changed. And, and that's what a lot of people say when I work on them. It's like, you know, was there anything specific that you did? It's like, no. Mm -hmm. you just, but I what just are some of the big cases, if you don't mind the sharing? The big cases? Like, like, you know, major oh, Major illnesses, cases, major um, illnesses. You know I've mean. had, guys, I'm not saying I cure cancer. Mm -hmm. I cure anything like that. I'm not a doctor. No, so we're not I claiming that. Nothing but you, at all. But, um, but I've had, like, cancers over, over like a dozen cases, I would say where the cancers have been, uh, the tumors have been disappeared, mm. or they're in remission. Or and you do the same gone. thing, I mean, not that you're doing, but you're resetting their um, spiritual uh, frequencies. Resetting, or at times, in some of the cases, deleting mm -hmm. certain time frames. Well, why can't people do that for themselves? Why do they're they... They're not that awake, or they're not that aware. But can uh, you teach people to be aware yes, and awake? How would you? How? Just by opening them up. And, you know, that's that's really what we are, what we do. You know, we really don't, say, teach people 
per se, mm -hmm. but we allow them, since I vibrate, say, at such a high frequency, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being around me or having me work on you, mm -hmm. that opens you or tells you that's mm -hmm. like, wow, if he can vibrate at that high frequency, something inside you goes, uh, I can oh too. We mirror each other. We're exactly. mirroring that. Like and it forces you to be pulled up into those higher frequencies. Mm -hmm. And that's how we actually change the world. So just by watching this program, yes, people will shift the frequency. Definitely. Because I feel clearer. Yes. I feel like present <laughs> here and... Um, yeah, Is with you, yeah, I adjusted the time frame. You adjusted time, the time frames frame. are unbelievable things. What do you mean by time frame? Um, you know, time in this world, although it, we think it's a uh, linear mm -hmm. and it's a constant, it actually isn't. Do I have know? to reset my computer? I was <laughs> going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll start to see you're going to be here in this world. Although, again, you can tap into different realities. And, and again, I've been given those abilities mm -hmm. to say stretch time for individuals, distort time delete time frames yeah so they can be recreated what are some of the weirdest things that have happened to you some of the weirdest things <laughs> oh my <laughs> god I don't no, know. Some like of just something just something that talks about this distortion of the time uh, field. distortion of time i drove well for me personally uh i drove to chicago it's an eight-hour drive mm -hmm. usually i drove it in four hours without yeah. speeding right from minneapolis to chicago you it's sort like of eight hours. bend time there yes Exactly. So and I could, you know, at the time I didn't realize what I was doing because I, I can't do it on command. I mean, right. eventually I will be. Mm. Um, but I could feel the warp. Mm. And the warp like itself. Like yeah, it's like, it's just like, uh, you know, going through the, the sound barrier. There, mm. There's just this little rough line. And go, oh, wow, that's what it was. Uh -huh. So tomorrow on um, Tuesday, you're going to be at the Meta Center. What yes. will you be teaching them? Meta Center uh, is at um, uh, West 29th Street. I am going to be going through on how I got gifted with my abilities, but most importantly, answering a lot of like, well, how does this work? What things can I change for you? And again, more importantly, working on you in a group space. And as, I be, as I'm talking, I'll actually be working on individuals. Uh -huh. Next time you're on the show, we'll do some yes. live call-ins, okay. and then um, you can work on people on the phone as well. Okay. Yes. So there's nothing you've seen that you said, "Oh, this is too much for me." Because oh no, I've um, you know, I've, if you believe in um, um, like satanic worship or <laughs> exorcism, things like that, I've done that. You have just dispelled it. Yes. Or, or so anyone can come to you. Anybody can come to and me. And basically, thirty minutes is all they need. Uh, sometimes I can get changes in about five minutes. Just uh, like you, I didn't work on Yeah, I feel really <laughs> good. I feel really exactly. good. Is there, I have a little studio <laughs> audience here. Does anyone have a little thing? You were working on my friend Allie over there. Um, yes. Anything you want to just zap her with there? Um, um, well, with Allie, you know, mm. I, had a, I saw a lot of distortion. Mm. Um, again, I see frequencies in individuals. So, uh, so want to work? Um, so. Okay, well, you know, we can just, um, mm -hmm. so, all right, but so for the audience yes. watching, if they um, have opened up, mm -hmm. and um, what can they expect now in their change? It depends on what you're going through. Sometimes, you know, individuals, and statistically, the, um, the thousands of people I've worked on, about 40, 50 percent go through the change, and they just walk into a different reality. It's just like putting a different pair of glasses uh -huh. on. Um, the other half, they might go through, a, you might go through a detox, even watching this interview. And that detox is, um, you know, as like emotions come up, or past experiences come up, they come up and wash away. So. Uh -huh. So, <coughs> um, it's just amazing. And but you said you can teach people to do what you're doing. Yes. How would I learn that, or um, anyone? You know, I do have classes that do that, uh, and it's really not me showing you one, mm -hmm. two, three steps because your reality on how to do it or your reality uh, here is different. Mm -hmm. But I open it, you up to y the realities that's best for you, which is most important. Right. Right. Yeah, so uh, not everyone will be a healer the way you are. No, I no, see. but whatever you are, you know, uh, for example, if you were a great businessman, I open you up to those different realities oh. for your business. And so I it's work highlighting whatever that person's whatever bringing is best into for you. Because exactly. according to <coughs> you, you're, you're working with the spirit itself. Yes. 
You're bypassing the manifest of the unconscious and you're going right, right to the source. Exactly, and that bypasses any notions. You don't have to believe in what I do. Mm -hmm. In fact, I work on a lot of people who are, say, addicted you know, to drugs, alcohol, uh, whatever it might be. Right. And I work on them through their loved ones. And they don't even know that I'm working work on, on them. through their loved ones. Yes, and oh. they get massive changes going on. And you can work on, if I said, you know, a family member, you could, yes. you could work on them through me. Yes, exactly. Or anyway, and, and I can summon them up. So if people want to reach you, though, they, um, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Cause they'll go to my website, masajati.com. Masajati.com. Yes. And they can reach you. Um, are you pretty booked up? Because I get booked up like about four to six months ahead of time. But, you know, the group sessions that I do, we do a ton of group healings. We do, which are fantastic. We actually, we do 21-day meditations. Uh, what happens in the 21-day meditation? Uh, we get online or via, via the computer. I guide you into a nice deep meditative state. Uh, I call it the 21-day meta healing. Uh, and I work on you 21 days, twice a day if you're available. You know, and, and most people think, oh, I can't make that time. But, you know, once they do the first first one, they're, it's like their spirit craves that need and most people are on twice a day. So where is your evolution? Where are you going? Where do you see this work going and you and what, what's big? That's really a good question. All right. um, <laughs> well, <laughs> just from what, I've <laughs> from what I've seen, uh, you know, before I used to work on individuals and, you know, I used to meditate for 10, 15 minutes and then work on one mm -hmm. for like an hour, hour and a half. I can get the same results in in about five minutes or maybe less. So mm -hmm. I, I see myself actually uh, almost getting into that instantaneous healing. And Although actually people s do s feel that, feel what I work on like mm -hmm. instantaneously, yeah. but some of the results, you know, take a little time to come in. Um, but instantaneous healing, more mass group healing. At a deep level. At a deep level. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's different than other healers because I'm not feeling the energy coming out of your hands or anything. It's, it's No. It's well, it depends on you. Some people yeah. feel the energy. Some people actually, s s um, mm. you know, f have a sensation. Mm -hmm. uh, most people do sense something. Mm hmm I mean, if you're standing up, most mm -hmm. people do, like, wobble mm -hmm. or move. Well, we'll do um, another show with that. We have to wrap mm -hmm. up. Um... Again, Mass Sajati yes. is your website. He will be in New York at the Meta Center, which is 214 West 29th Street on Tuesday. That's tomorrow. He'll be at the Subut Center, which is 230 West 29th Street on Thursday. And then the whole weekend you're doing um, yes, lectures. Yes, those in are in-depth in depth lectures, in and group healings. Group those, healings. Yes. And, and people will have an experience. Oh. will get to everyone there. Definitely. So. Definitely. Um, Thanks again, Mass. Thank Sajari. you. Um, <laughs> it was nice. Good. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm Alan Steinfeld for New Realities. If you want to find me, go to my website, newrealities.com, or email me at A, the letter A, at newrealities.com. Thanks for watching.